Hi, and welcome to the fourth episode of Seen It on the Simpsons. I'm your host, Ol' Karina. Nice to meet ya. All right, let's get this shit started. So today's episode, we're gonna talk about who is Ol' Gil. Ol' Gil Gunderson, that is. And we all know him as that unsuccessful, unlucky businessman, whether he be trying to sell... A Canyon Arrow truck, a Coleco computer, shoes, brown shoes. Well, we have a brown shoe. Did you hear that, kids? Brown. So, who is Old Gil? Old Gil Gunderson. Why is he so unlucky? Where did the idea for such a crazy character come out of? It all started in season nine when he made his first appearance. Well, I earned that wall. Don't push your luck, pal. You're hanging on by a thread. I, I brought this wall from home. <laughs> and you know, I thought O'Gill was an original character. I never came across anyone like him in my many hours of watching TV and movies, but as I've grown older, and you guys along with me, we've realized that a lot of the things from The Simpsons aren't original, but just extremely well-written satire. So yeah, I wasn't too shocked to find out he wasn't original, but maybe just a little disappointed. But once I got to delve more into the reference character that Gil was supposed to be parodying, I became more forgiving. So let's take a look at that. Because Gil Gunderson is based off Jack Lemmon's portrayal of Shelley Levine in the film adaptation of Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. So what the fuck does that mean? What the fuck is Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? Glenn Gary Glenn Ross is a play, and it's a pretty good one too, because it won the Pulitzer Prize in 1984, and in 1992... They adopted it into film starring Al Pacino, Alec Baldwin, Kevin Spacey, and Jack Lemon. And if you don't know who Jack Lemon is, because I didn't fucking know who that was either, uh, he's mostly famous for playing the dude that dresses up a girl in the movie Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe. So, who is Shelley Levine? This is the character that Jack Lemon is playing. Shelley Levine is an unsuccessful, unlucky real estate agent who hasn't had any luck with leads and closing the deal. Sound familiar? It's no mystery why this episode is Gil's first appearance. Glengarry Glenn Ross is a movie about a real estate agency, and Shelley is not doing very well at his job, as you could guess. Obviously, the writers had to make some parody of the Shelley character, and thus Gil Gunderson is born. Just look at these parallels. Oh, don't jump. <laughs> hey, don't jump out of your manager bag a second. Huh? It's just two guys talking, am I right? The old buff and bluff, the hey old Murray, the Sasquahanna shuffle, huh? 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 <laughs> Turns out he was so hilarious, he went on to not just being, I don't think he's just a parody of Shelly the Machine Levine anymore. I feel like he's expanded and he's grown into his own character now. Like maybe in, in Realty Bites, that's who he was, but he's expanded onto this level where he's not that anymore. He's Gil Gunderson. As for the movie, Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, it's mostly dialogue, nothing really happened, and it's over before you know it. And I was sad it was over. I wanted more. Seeing all these great actors together was very entertaining. Alec Baldwin does a great job at being that guy you fucking hate. Kevin Spacey and Ed Harris. Yeah, I forgot to mention Ed Harris. They're great in this. Al Pacino was awesome. He's probably my favorite part of the movie. And I'm really glad I looked into this because now I have Jack Lemmon, an older actor from a generation that I've gotten to learn more about and that has given me the opportunity to check more of his films and more classic films. And I hope you are inspired to do the same thing. So I highly recommend this movie. Give it a watch. And I highly recommend Gil Gunderson. Somebody fucking hire him and give him a chance at that shiny brass ring. This is bad. This is really bad. You work and you slave and you steal just enough for a sweet lick of that shiny brass ring. Don't I get a lick? Doesn't Gil get a lick? And don't forget, 
to like and subscribe. Glenn Gary, Glenn, Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, Gary, Glenn Gary Ross, Gary, Glenn Gary, Gary Ross, Glary, Glenn, Glary Ross. Glen Glary Glen Ross. Glen Gary Glen Ross. Glen Gary Glen Ross. Okay.